Hi everyone, well today I'm very excited because I have been invited out with the British Hovercraft crew and I'm here with Ben and Kev and Jack who's over here as well but Ben and Kev and we're going to be going out on one of these hovercrafts. Now Simon is going to be here soon as well. He um, invited me along and Ben and Kev kindly agreed and I kind of bribed them a bit with bacon sandwiches as well. So Very nice bacon sandwiches. <laughs> How do you know you can eat one? <laughs> Edit, cut, make up. <laughs> He'll eat one shortly. <laughs> and so it's, uh, yeah, it's really exciting. Thank you very much. It's the first time I've been on a little hovercraft. So what's the tip then for riding on the hovercraft? Do you have to hold on Stay to each other? It. Stay in <laughs> it. Stay in it because it always looks quite sort of exciting and exhilarating whenever uh, I watch it, Simon's it's videos. It's like no other vehicle in the world. It's a corny saying, and it is a corny saying, but there's no beach out of reach. It is it's the only vehicle in the world that can do what it does. Wow. And do you go out every weekend? Do you do outings? Uh, we don't do outings, no. We're just a manufacturer. We're the sole manufacturer of these biggest light manufacturer in the world. So yeah. we send them all over the world. And look at that. Look at it. It's, it's, it's a piece of art, this isn't is it? Mary Jane. Mary Jane. Okay. Which one will I be on? Uh, either Mary Jane or Rob. We're, we're all mucking together. <laughs> we'll, we'll, find, uh, we'll find room for everybody. It'll be fine. So look, the mud lovers here, himself and Steve. Hi right, mud lovers, how are we doing? We're out today on the Hovercraft. Guest, guest uh, with us is Nick. I know, very honoured and very excited. Uh, yeah, well we've got a few locations in mind, so what we've got to do, a lot of it is sometimes just going out there and exploring the uncharted territories, places where people can't go, only if you've got a Hovercraft, like we have. So. Or, no, what we're doing today is we're going to the places that we always go straight past. There's loads of places to find, to look, to search. So today we're going to get some luck in the mud. Guarantee it. Brill. All right, my lovers, here we are, Hovercraft Fishing Hunters, and guest today is Nicola White. Hello, everyone. <clears throat> Very excited. Hopefully I'll come back in one piece. You will, you will. We look after you today. It's been a long overdue trip because Nick's been dying to come out of this for ages, so today is her lucky day, hopefully. Uh, got Steve piloting our hovercraft, and in the background... He's struggling with his zip. <laughs> yeah, good start. Uh, in the background there we've got Ben from the British Hovercraft Company, his dad Kev and Rob as well. So we've got a good crew today, so let's go out and get some luck in the muck. Yeah, let's go out and get some luck in the muck. This is going to be a really new experience for me. I'm looking forward to flying through the air, across the mud. Exactly. Yeah. It's a lucky experience you've never had in your life, I guarantee you. I love the way you got the camper yeah. van and kept the boat. And there's, uh, there's quiet Ben in the background. Hello. <laughs> So this is Cy and Steve's hovercraft, and look, Simon is, is actually colour coordinated with his hovercraft. Look at well, that. The hovercraft, we chose the colours to match the Mud Lover logo and brand, so it's all Ooh, in sync. Look so, yeah, that. It's a dream machine. This is only uh, about six months old. So, so people that aren't wearing orange cannot get in that hovercraft. No, that's it. That's the rules, I'm afraid. <laughs> You've got an orange life jacket on today, so you're in. Are you looking forward to this then, Jack? Yeah. yeah that's <laughs> Brilliant! Mine too, so we can keep each other company. So we're all ready to go now. Let's go! Woo. So Nick's found herself a little beach. Might be some Victorian bits and bobs in there. Yeah, 
was just looking at that. What was that? Oh. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Oh, it's a bit of a contentious issue because we both saw the same fight at the same time. It's yours, it's no, all yours. No, I'm letting you do it. I'm letting you, I'm giving the, uh, giving the uh, one to you. That's a, that's a nice one. Yeah. It's got a... Oh, that's lovely. That's, oh, that's nice. nice. That's a sort of spot. It's got some beautiful uh, yeah. bubbles in there. Oh, I like that. Thank you. And guess what? Cy Fines isn't the only little urchin on this beach. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Yeah, cut that bit out. Yeah, one little scruffy urchin and another little urchin. What's this little urchin doing here then? Well, it's, uh, we're not far from the sea. So maybe they got washed in by a storm or something, who knows? Perfect, you know, isn't, it? isn't it? Beautiful. Yeah, oh. I don't find many of them. No, we don't. That's pretty cool. Oh, a lovely little piece of pottery. How sort of look. See that? They're cute. Oh, that's cute. Look like a drug. Look, there's a little head of a person there. I think I've got someone toting a gun or something. Looks like a whip to me. <laughs> a whip or a gun. He's whipping his um, ponies. Oh, nice one. It's like a little... Uh... A little seed. It does look like a jug. Yeah. 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 So how's it going then, Ben? Uh, Monday. <laughs> yeah, all good. All good. Just uh, watching these two legends in their hovercraft. It's really amazing. It's such an amazing sensation flying over the mud and yeah. the water. Hovering. Hovering. Yeah, that's the Hovering. word. That's the word I was looking for. <laughs> Lovely, it's an RAOB fight. It was a Royal Antediluvian Order of Buffaloes. Yeah, Hinkins, he's a local Chatham okay. pipe maker. Yeah, really brilliant. That's a lovely find. I'm very jealous. <laughs> nice. Yeah, they were founded in 1820. All oh, right, the, the, uh, the buffs. So, age on that, Nicky? Mm, that's going to be like early to mid 19th century. Yeah. Sort of like what, 1850s? Yeah, definitely. Because the because the buffs were founded in 1820, so it's any time from then on, really. And what are the initials stand for on it? Um, yeah, R A O B. That's Royal Antediluvian Order of Buffaloes. Yeah. Brilliant find. Can I have a look? Yeah. Yeah, Hinkins. comes out the air filter at the top. Yeah. Oh, that's lovely. Where did you find that? If you just put all together. I'll press that, that Lovely. Round one once. It'll pick you up. Oh, look what eagle eyed Simon has spotted. It's not hard to find this, so uh, it's sticking like that there, no one would have missed out today. Well, uh, I just walked straight past it. <laughs> I hate to say. <laughs> uh, I'm going to have a closer look. Oh, look. Isn't that lovely? That's beautiful. Look. Hello. Yeah. So, we're lucky to have found it, really, but... That's lovely. That is what you call a beautiful piece of Roman. That's oh, really gorgeous. And you can even cook them up and eat them as well. Yeah, oh, thank you very much. <laughs> well, Winkle? <laughs> you might want to de shell the wheels, they're a bit crunchy otherwise. There's a little bit here, but not quite as nice as 
as Simon's, which I can't believe that I walked right past. Oh, look down here, we've got a bit of uh, a piece of shrapnel from the Second World War. It's in! <laughs> oh, I'm on fire! <laughs> Right, boys, you want to see a ramen pot? Oh, wow. Oh, right, edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's got a hole in the bottom, so mud's falling out of it. So. Wow. Nice, isn't it? Oh, that's epic, man. Yeah, great. Come on, is that? I've no chance of cleaning it, no, mate. I, li it, I literally got it out of the mud. How did you spot that? How old is that? First century. Yeah, you just uncovered a nice little bit of decoration here for yeah, you, Steve. Thanks. Decorated. Where's that? Is it? Yeah. Just bit that moss up. That moss stuff here. Yeah, that's what we use. We just use all natural ingredients when yeah, we're cleaning the. Yeah, we're all about natural. Yeah. So we do it. Simon, how do you feel? How do you feel? Well, absolutely stunned and amazed. And well, what can I say? It's uh, very few times in our lives we get to find stuff like this. We did it ten years or so. So yeah, it's it's the epitome of mudlarking for me. That's uh, that's a real. I want a gold coin at some point this year as well, just mm -hmm. to, just to add to the. Uh, luck, no, a gold coin, no. hundred bottle, bell of mine, maybe a flint lock pistol. I've got a long list of stuff to find, but I'm finding stuff like this. That is extraordinary. It's really beautiful. Can't isn't wait! It? Can't wait to see it all washed. There's actually look a little bit of a, a, a line or two around there. Might even be a little bit of a squiggle. Yeah. The um, original Roman person has. Uh, made their little mark in it, so it makes your heart skip a beat, doesn't it? It does. Just think, you're the first person to touch that since a Roman person. I know, it's, it's incredible. It's incredible. I'm buzzing. We have to call you Simonus. Um, <laughs> luck in the Mudicus. Mudloverus. <laughs> <laughs> mud <laughs> yeah, Mudloverus. <laughs> we'll welcome that. <laughs> So all you need to have you ever ridden the quad bike? No. Okay, well that don't help then. So all you need to remember, yeah, is the accelerator and the steering. So I'll be in the back, you'll be fine. All you need to do is go off, across, around the creek, and then when we get out onto the water, yeah, nice big sweeping turn, and then back up the creek and back up onto okay, the land. So we're going into the creek. Yeah, round around. the bend, round the bend, out onto the water. And then turn around. Big 
circle, plenty of power, big circle, and then back up here. Okay, in. so that's the accelerator. It is. That's, that's the one, the steering. You'll be fine. Here we go, wish me luck. Okay, so <laughs> that's it. Just look at these, aren't they? Spectacular. Oh, <laughs> he's made one there. This will be fun. Okay, so Simon's real Roman pot has been replaced with a mud one. Let's see what happens. Rob and I have come over here 
and Simon and Ben and Jack and Kev are over there. So we've come to explore over here. Well, there's a bit of pottery over here, so that's quite nice. Let's have a look. Nice maker's mark, there's a bit of Roman. Nice decorated transfer ware as well. Over stoneware. Let's have a look. Oh, ah, ah, help! Oh no, I've just landed my knee in the mud. Damn. Oh, uh, Nicola White is stuck. Good job you got a knight in shining armour there to help you. <laughs> I'm completely stuck. <laughs> Careful you don't slip on that board, love. Oh, you're up. Oh, was it worth it for that bit of pottery? Oh, good. It really is luck in the muck out here today. <laughs> Look, I've got a really nice brick here, Cliff and Sons Workly Leads. There's the, the brick shaped hole, there's the brick. I wonder if I'll be allowed to take it. So, not mind getting dirty, does she? Nice piece of Bartman down here. It's down here. Harry Bartman? No, it's um a bit of Bellamine. It's from a, oh, yeah, a Bartman yeah, yeah. jug, which is really nice. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's my second piece today. Lovely. Part of the beard by the looks of it. Now I found a few pipe stems, but look, I found the um, end of a really nice pipe bowl. I think it's part of a hand. It's got something funny at the end there, look. Isn't that cool? Oh, it would be amazing if I could find a whole pipe. There's a bit more stem. There's pottery around here, that's always a good sign. Oh, look! <laughs> it's another little house. How brilliant. What you got now? Found a little chemist bottle. Zimonas. <laughs> Zimonas, mud loverus. Um, yeah, this is a personalised one. Usually they just say tablespoons. Yeah, that's what I thought it was going to be. Um, so I, it was sitting like that, and I could instantly see that it's already been embossed with the maker. Sorry, not the maker, but the owner of the uh, chemist, possibly. Yeah. And Phillips. we should be able to uh, yeah, research that. Yeah, Phillips, see. Cromwell Road. Yeah. SW, yeah. South West London, so I'm really happy with that. Not very often they, they come up like this because yeah, that's really nice. You get thousands of the tablespoons, which are very nice, but these ones, any any personalised stuff is uh is uh, good. Good to Real. research and good to, good to study. And it looks like it's complete. Now there's Fort Darnet over there. That is the sister fort of who? 
And so it's really exciting to be over actually on Darnit for a change instead of who. Napoleonic fort built mid 19th century. Yeah, so this is really similar to Who Fort, so... It's identical. Yeah. Literally. So this is where we're uh, coming through the tunnel. Upstairs. Oh, oh yeah, because it's flooded Amazing. here, isn't it? Unlike... Yeah. It goes right up. Who, which is... You can still get in there most of the time, but I just love the way that nature's taken over. Spider. They're so well built, aren't they, these places? Yeah. It stood the test of time in some of the worst, harshest conditions there are. Mm. coming out of this bank here. Now look at that. Now that's nice, isn't it? Nice little ink bottle just eroding out of the bank. What else have we got here? <laughs> oh look, it's a shoe. A bit of a shoe. Oh, it's a nice glass stopper here. That's very nice. I'll put that in my bag, clean it up to have a look at. Oops, <laughs> I'm tripping over. There we go. No drivers, we're all right. What a fantastic morning. I absolutely loved it. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Out with the whole craft history hunters and I hope you can come again, Nick. Oh yeah, I hope I get invited again. You will. Anytime you fancy it, we can go out and do it. Although it's more of a summertime occupation. Yeah. Because as soon as it starts getting wet and windy, it becomes even more scary. So uh, <laughs> if the weather's good, we'll be out. Oh, and uh, hopefully you'll come with us. Yeah, well, thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you very much, everyone, for having me. It was absolutely fantastic. I really, really loved it. And oh, um, and biggest thanks to the person who was driving me around everywhere. When I scared you, you've dropped yeah. this in the uh, on the craft. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you've got my brick there. I want them as well. Thank you, Rob. It was You're brilliant. Welcome, You're a fantastic hovercraft driver. Anytime. And uh, I loved it. We love it when Simon finds Roman pots. You know, my favourite ever thing ever to ever happen when Simon finds a Roman pot. <laughs> but I love it, Simon. You do love it. Yeah. I love it so much. Two. Oh, no, you have found one years ago. No, no, I've got three. Oh, okay. Whatever. So Steve and Si, it was a fantastic time, and I just need to have another look at this pot before I 
Go. We'll be going potty over its, aren't we? Steve, don't be funny. <laughs> <laughs> we'll send everyone crazy. Yeah. That is just so perfect, isn't it? it? Is. Yeah, it reminds me of a little onion bottle. It's so cute and, and concise. And it takes, mm. imagine the skill of trying to make that and then and not bugger it up. You know, the Romans really knew what they were doing. What yeah. do you think? Oh, not sure. Maybe, maybe, maybe oil? Yeah, it's it got that sort of look to it, hasn't it? Mm. Yeah, and maybe these little rings here, I think what they've done is they made the pot and they probably made this bit separately and they've applied this on and that's probably, that, those rings might have hired um, sort of the thing, join, yeah. the, the join a little bit, I mm. think, because I can't imagine making that in one piece. I think they might have made the top separately. I don't know. It's just, um, uh, it blows your mind really to think that probably maybe in like 100 AD, Somebody made that, and now you're standing here holding it. I know. Oh, where's the Samian wear? Oh, we've done that. Yeah, no, they're yeah. set in my bag. I like that. It's got the. Well, it's got the uh, I've got a bit of Samian actually. I also found yeah, I'll get the Samian out. Let's see if you can have that. <laughs> I've already dropped this twice. Yeah, that's nice too. Yeah, but you've got part of the maker's mark, so mm. you should be able to find out yeah. who yeah. made it and where. Yeah, Which that, is. Yeah, oh, that's it's amazing, a good, it's a good clue it? to. Uh, to working out more history. Yeah. Mm. Out here. So, uh, yeah, what a day. You've, you've been here when I found my best ever, I think, possibly best ever find, or at least top 10. So. Yeah, I know. I mean, where you can know, you go from here, really? I don't know. But you don't lie, Simon. I met mean, I mean, you on the tour, sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I really love it. <laughs> Chama can't throw him back, though, innit? <laughs> so, Nick's, Nick's obviously been out with us today. I haven't caught up with him too much until now. But well, what you found, you found a few good bits, you said, a bit of saming wear, I thought. Yeah, I've got, let me just, uh... yeah, I have got a nice piece of, little piece of saming, oh, not sorry. quite as good as your pot, but. Uh... Well, I, I love saming, I, I, love, I don't mm. think I've ever found a piece that's decorated, so, um, it's, uh, it's new to me, so I love it all. Um, it's really cool. So. That's a nice little ink well. Little ink well, it's eroding out of the hedge and a bottle stopper. I've got a lovely brick, shall that's, I go? That's, that's probably the top of a pickle jar. Yeah, it's quite nice, isn't it? Yeah, that's cool. I've got a lovely brick, yep. which I can show you. Okay. I did get, um, actually, I've got a few little bits the of pipe stem. And, oh, nice, little uh, pipe bowl. One. I've got oh. quite a nice little bit of pipe bowl, actually, which is... Um, it's the only free match up, yeah? in here somewhere oh here it is look the end of a, a pipe bowl which oh, yeah. i'm not quite sure what that is on Let's the end of it it's almost bird like doesn't it's like it like a bird isn't it it looks like a hand um hmm. i've got a nice little piece of bartman beard as well oh yeah there. excellent I've got lots of bits and i got a nice bit of pipe stem with a maker's mark on you can't go out of that finding pipes or uh, pipe related I've things. I've got some nice bits of pottery, but I'll be cleaning it all up. So okay. when I do my video, you'll be able to see it. But look, I just mm. want to show you my brick. Yeah. Let me go and get my brick in a minute. Okay. So yeah, lovely, lovely brick. Yeah, I've got a really nice brick here and uh, it'll look much better when it's cleaned up, but mm -hmm. it's quite unusual because it's almost as if it's um, been in a bathroom. Yeah, perhaps, I think so. It's got really nice defined mark here cliff and sons from really leeds cool. on both sides so nice i'm not usually a brick girl but i am today <laughs> there we go <laughs> well uh, we got a lot of luck in the muck simon got loads and loads of luck in the muck and uh, well, i got lots of luck in the muck too and i'm also covered in muck now <laughs> but i'm really looking forward to doing this video because it's such a lot of fun and thank you very much for inviting me Everyone. thank you very much for watching welcome to my studio I'm here now completely mud free I'm very happy to tell you but that was the best muddy fun that I've had in absolutely ages I felt like I was in a bond film when I was driving the hovercraft flying across the mud and the water it really was as good fun as it looked and of course not to mention all the James Bonds that I spent the day with so what more could a girl want it was really great well, I think that Simon got finds of the day. Well, I don't think I absolutely know, but I did get a few little bits and pieces and they were pretty much covered in mud when I got them out to show Simon on the day. So I thought I'd do a very quick run through of some of the things that I found, starting with my splendid brick. Now, I've never really got excited about bricks before. Um, 
they're not something I've really paid attention to, which is a shame because there's so many of them scattered along the Thames foreshore, from Tudor to Georgian, Victoria, and all sorts of bricks. And of course, they have the possibility of um, having great stories behind them because they've got the family name or the name of the company. So there's always something to look up. And so Cliff and Sons of Wortley Leeds, um, they were a Victorian brick-making company and they were founded by Joseph Cliff, who was born in 1806 and died in 1879. And they were particularly known for their sanitary brickware, which explains the enamel coating on the top of this brick, which is what I was initially drawn to when I saw it um, sort of gleaming through the mud. Um, I've got some really nice adverts actually for Joseph Cliff and Sons um, brick making company which I'll put up on the screen that you can have a look at and look at and they exhibited in all sorts of different uh, exhibitions and Joseph Cliff was pretty well known in Leeds he was a philanthropist and he also did quite a lot of charity work um, so maybe maybe some of the forts in the area had their bathrooms done with these cliff bricks I suppose it's very possible now there is one little bit of intriguing information behind this brick and that is Cliff House, which is where the Cliff family used to live. Um, it was given away in the early 20th century by the family to Leeds Council, but in that house um, it was famed for having a winding staircase and also a very pretty mosaic floor in the hallway and it is said that underneath the mosaic there is buried a famous racehorse. Now I don't know if that's true and I don't know which racehorse but that is the story. So there we are that just goes to show that behind a simple brick there can be a story. Now most of my other finds were pottery and glass related. I've got this nice glass Victorian stopper here, probably from some kind of pickle jar. And some really pretty bottles. This one I love, it's really delicate. And this one is absolutely lovely. It is a Victorian ink bottle and it's got the little grooves there where people could rest their pens in between writing their novel. And I got my usual pipe fragments and a few pieces of stoneware, some transferware and Roman pottery. The Roman pottery now is nothing like um, Simon's pot obviously but it's beautiful. There's so many textures on it. I'll put some pictures up um, and you can just see where the potter has etched marks into it and little designs and uh, it really is such a, a personal sort of link to the past, the pottery that we pick up on the foreshore. So I'm very very pleased with my finds. I had a great day and um, of course if you are thinking of buying a hovercraft for Christmas then I would highly recommend going over to see what the British Hovercraft Company have got to offer because they really are the guys and having had a go at it uh, I know that I certainly would love to have a hovercraft and that saying which Ben came out with no beach is out of reach I, I just like that and it's exciting to be able to go to places that aren't particularly accessible whereas you can just whiz over to them on a hovercraft it was really good fun so thank you guys again for a superb day out and I hope I can tag along with you again soon. So thank you very much for watching everyone and thank you for your comments and feedback and suggestions on my previous videos. I really appreciate your inputs and your support. Um, I hope that you have a great week ahead, take care of yourselves and I really look forward to seeing you again very soon. Bye bye.